In less than an hour, NASA's 300 million mile journey from America's shore to Jezero Crater on Mars will begin with the launch of this Atlas V rocket into space. And at the top of that rocket, with a beautiful sunrise and shrouded by that protective fairing, is the Perseverance rover headed to Mars, ready to ride a column of fire and smoke on its way to the Red Planet. What a beautiful morning here on the Space Coast. Welcome everyone. Behind us, the star of the show. This is a life-size mock-up of the Perseverance rover, which is just like the one we are launching to space. Hi everyone, I'm Daryl Nail. And I'm Muji Gay Cooper. So the power source for the Mars rover is a contained radioactive battery. I've seen it up close and we had to alter the way we behaved around that. Yes. How has that changed your team's efforts? Oh yes, the operations around that are completely different. Now we have a lot of experience with these. We've flown all of America's RTGs and we're the only provider that is certified to handle them. But you know, it is still 11 pounds of plutonium as you saw. Yeah. And in this particular case, the one very special thing was to install it in the VIF where we would normally never breach the containment around the spacecraft because it has to be clean and biological free. Right. But we created a portable clean room and brought this nuclear battery out and installed it in the machine while keeping everything perfect. Eight, Eight seven, seven, six, five, five, four. Engine ignition, two, one, zero. Relate and lift off. As the countdown to Mars continues, the perseverance of humanity launching the next generation of robotic explorers to the red planet. And Atlas TU has gone to closed loop control. Coming up on 30 seconds into flight, the RD-180 is throttling down as expected. Engine response looks good. And Mach 1, Atlas 5 is now supersonic. And passing 45 seconds into flight, vehicle is now passing through max Q, maximum dynamic pressure. And passing one minute into flight, the RD-180 is throttling back up as expected. Engine response looks good. At this time in flight, the SRB chamber pressures remain nominal. The RD-180 pump speed and fuel injector pressures are responding well to demands on the engine. Standing by for SRB burnout shortly. And we have burnout on all four SRBs. Burnout pressure signatures look good. Standing by for SRB jettison shortly. And we have a uh, good indication of SRB jettison of all four SRBs. And the vehicle has gone to closed loop guidance. Vehicle body rates are responding nominally at this time. And coming up on two and a half minutes into flight, uh, the RD-180 is throttled down slightly as expected. Engine response continues to look good. At this time, the vehicle is uh, 50 miles in altitude, uh, 85 miles downrange, traveling at 6,000 miles per hour. And the Centaur Reaction Control System is now pressurizing to flight levels. And just past three minutes into flight, the RD-180 is now throttling to maintain a constant 2.5G acceleration limit for payload fairing jettison. 
engine response and vehicle acceleration look good. And we have good indication of payload fairing jettison and Centaur forward, forward load reactor deck jettison.